Canadian Bulldog for wrestling merchandise and memories. That's merchandiseandmemories.com. And welcome to another edition of Bulldogs Unboxings. If you've been watching Bulldogs Unboxings for any period of time, you will know I am all about the Ultimate Editions. I, at the beginning of this, uh, this program, I had only had maybe two or three Ultimate Editions. And since then, my collection has just grown out of control. Like, I'm definitely more than 60 at this point. With new ones arriving, you know, like once a month, it feels like, to, to add to my collection. I have, I'm just sort of looking elsewhere in my collection right now. And I've probably got another almost a dozen figures that I still haven't unboxed. So I'm I'm all in for the Ultimate Edition form factor and the, the just the variety of WWE superstars and legends they have. But let's get real. Is it really an Ultimate Edition if you don't have Kurt Angle in your collection? Your Olympic hero has finally come to the WWE Ultimate Edition, or he, he came to the Ultimate Edition several months before I recorded this. And by the time you see this video, it will be uh, sometime. This, this, this figure will be ancient by then, but that's okay. So just let's take a quick look at the packaging here, the typical Ultimate Edition packaging, all the the features inside here, you've got the classic Kurt Angle picture back when he had hair. And is there anything on here? Just his name on the side. And then on the back, you've got the the figure uh, photo of him. And then you've got the actual photo of him. And then it reads, after winning the gold medal with a broken freaking neck, Kurt Angle left the world of amateur wrestling for the WWE ring. He won title after title in his rookie year proving you can do anything if you live your life by the three eyes, intensity, integrity, and intelligence. Oh, it's true. It's true. And what's also true is we're going to unbox this right now. Take a look at your Olympic hero in action. This is such an impressive figure in hand, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, I am not usually a big fan of the, like the soft goods, like cloth materials but I think it works in this case it reminds me of an older Kurt Angle figure I had from um, back in the 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 Titan Tron live days when maybe one of his first figures um, it also came I think it was a white one but the same, white singlet the same idea uh, and then he's got the elbow pads here and the knee pads that are you know just as plain as plain can be plain blue but let's take a look at the head scan here it is impressive just his his jaw is uh, I mean such an important part of who he is and you know you, most people don't even remember Kurt Angle from back when he had hair but it's it's obviously a very different look his clean cut look and then just rounding it out you've got the uh, the red boots here with white laces it just makes for a very interesting uh, figure you can also see here and this is not uh, it's not exactly uh, Taz which I believe is the the tattoo he actually has but he's got something in there it's a, in its place uh, because this is an ultimate edition obviously you've got you know more posability. He can do those angle slams. He can uh, he can do his what's his move where he you know what I'm talking about, right? Like where he, he dances around in the ring, his his signature pose. Um, so you've got you know you've got a lot of that. You've got movement in the the, the chest here. You've got you the drop downs on his hips, uh, which doesn't work very well when I'm doing it underneath the trunks. But just trust me, it's there. And uh, so just in terms of the base figure, you've got a lot to work here. Here, Of course, there is more, but this being an Ultimate Edition figure, you've got two extra head scans. Uh, this one, I like a lot. I, I like even better than the Stoic one because it just, it reminds me more of the Kurt Angle of, of that era. And then talk about amazing. You've got <laughs> this crying face after when he won the championship and you can pose him like that if you want. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to have him on my ultimate shelf looking like this, although it's, it's kind of a funny option, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm glad that they gave that to us. And then in terms of hand options, uh, we've got here two, two Kurt Angle fists, and then you've got two open palms. I guess if you are doing the, him, him crying, you can have that covering his face. So we may, we may try that a little bit later. In addition, he's got not one but two medals to put around his neck. And we'll do that right now. 
that looks that looks incredible. Um, it just really adds to the character. And you also need the WWE Championship. This is the classic, like the Winged Eagle, although that it's a it's a WWE, not WWF. But you know, uh, it is what it is. Um, I I really like this. I like the options you've got on this, and I'm just going to try to. Uh, First, I'm going to try and get this in focus. I'm going to try and play around the heads here. So here we've got the Kurt Angle crying uh, with the hands in front of his face. You can have him sort of kneeling down for when he, he first won the championship. This is such a, a cool look. It's just, it's, you know, something in a million years. I never thought we would get an action figure for him, but it is kind of funny. And I'm going to try something else here for a moment. And here you've got the classic Kurt Angle head, which is, I think to me, that's probably going to be the winner. Uh, it just looks so, so innocent and so dorky and just really reminds me of what the character was for a big part of his WWE run, um, certainly before he, he uh, shaved his head. So that uh, that is definitely an option here. Um, overall, I think this is just a, a, an amazing Kurt Angle figure. Uh, certainly, I have a couple and I even do have one, I think, with the hair. Um, but this this trumps them all. This is just so, so well done. It's a love letter to Kurt Angle. And when you do think of Ultimate Editions, this is the way I, I certainly choose to remember him. It's true. It's damn true. For Bulldogs Unboxings, I'm Canadian Bulldog, and we'll see you next time.